Hey everybody, it's Warhammer Wednesday, so let's clear off the desk and get ready to paint. Today we are looking at the Tyranids and the Ripper Swarms from the Space Marine, I don't, Space Marine 2 box set. Got mine at Target, it is not the recruitment one, this is the North American release. And here they are, you get four little Rippers on a base, so I primed them white. Stuck them down, slapped the mud down, and we're pretty much ready to go. So we're going to dive in. Follow along if you want to. If not, don't worry. Just sit back, grab a cup of tea, and listen to me yap away. I am doing mine in a Leviathan-esque scheme. If you saw the Gene Stealer video, you'll, you'll know what I'm doing. It's very similar to that, to be fair. There's not many colors to it. I think I ended up using, I'm looking at the desk, six in total. It's very, very simple. Like I said, I start off with a white base coat and dive straight on in with the Magos purple for the flesh. Now, I don't have much to say whilst I'm painting, so I'm going to read about the Ripper Swarms. Rippers are the most numerous of the Tyranid creatures, and in great swarms they can pull down and consume creatures many times their own size. However, they are completely mindless and will perish if they lose a synaptic link with the hive mind. Although, while under its guidance, they are utterly relentless and pose a truly horrifying threat. During the final stages of a Tyranid planetary invasion, they scour the entirety of the planet, ingesting all biological matter, leaving only an empty and desolate wasteland. Eventually, the Rippers will become bloated, full of biomass and unfit for combat. At this point, they simply crawl into a Tyranid reclamation pool at the base of an impossibly tall tower that projects, that projects beyond the atmosphere, where they and the biomass they are fed are broken down and absorbed by the hive fleet for the creation of a new Tyranid organism and structures. Ew! However, in some cases, they may be evolved by a Norn Queen to perform more advanced functions for the swarms, depending on the genetic material they have absorbed. Ooh, so they can be helped. They're basically they're vacuum cleaners. They go around nibbling up, breaking down all the food, and they get swallowed up by the main hive fleet. Ugh. I'm just looking at some of the artwork whilst I'm reading this, and it's just gross. They look really, really gross. The Ripper's powerful jaws can bite through flesh and bone with alarming ease, and they have been known to gnaw their way through plasteel to reach food. Rippers are energetic and fearless organisms quite capable of pulling down creatures many times their own size, from a rampaging grox to an armed man. Once a Ripper's jaws tighten around its prey, they can clamp shut until a mouthful of flesh is torn away or the Ripper is slain. Huge swarms of rippers are often seen on the battlefield advancing behind the swarms. These small bioforms gorge themselves on the fallen, tearing apart the wounded and cannibalizing the dead. It might appear that an armored space marine would be safe from the attacks, but in mass they can immobilize and drag down even the strongest battle brothers. Oh, they're so yucky. Now, I remember these from back in the day, Advanced Space Crusade, for those of you old enough for that game. The swarms and Rippers looked a lot different back then. I'm pretty sure they were squigs, <coughs> or at least that was what they were from. They'd been eating some uh, orcs and they had their weird Tyranid versions of squigs. These new versions are a lot creepier. They just like, the fact that they just burrow through, they're kind of a weird mashup of rats and chest bursters and all sorts of dribblies. Ugh, I don't like it. There has been some notable variations. There's some flying ones where they have bat-like wings. That's even more terrifying. And then the last one, an eel-like ripper. The eel ripper is an un as yet unnamed variant designed to be aquatic. Oh great. Oh great. <laughs> um, what else do they got about these guys? They're also known as ankle biters to the Imperial Guard. That's quite funny. And they do have secondary weapons. So that is pretty much their backstory. I'm not going to go too far in depth with this. What else have we got going on with them? Ripper Swarms in 40k. Now I am 
trying to reignite my passion for 40k. So I do read the rules now and again. Um, I was interested in the Ripper Swarms because they're just these weird funny little creatures. So I was looking at them. You can get two bases, which is lucky. I thought they came in units of three. So I was going to be annoyed that I only got two bases. You can get two bases. They come in at 40 points. Move six, toughness to save six plus four wounds, leadership eight. So they're not terrible. Deep strike, synapse, chitinous horror. While within engagement, half the objective control characteristics of models. That's not bad. Uh, they've just got their teeth, which are sustained with hits one, attack six. Wow, weapon skill five plus, strength two, damage one. Or they can get a pistol as well. A spine maws, I guess they just spit sank instead. Six inch range, four attacks, ballistic skill five plus, strength three, damage one. That is about it for them. So I don't know. The thing that I'm looking at is not official, so if there is wrong, please let me know. But it seems seems pretty much right to me, 10th edition. I like them. They've been a fun little paint, like I did two bases in 10 minutes. They don't take long. We're pretty much done with this video already, which is quite comical. And so far, you'd have seen me do uh, Magos skin for their flesh tone. Then I did Levadon purple. I think that's what it's called. No, it's not. It's not Levadon. <laughs> it's Luxion purple. Then we did flesh terror red for the tongue. A little bit of administratum grey for the stone blocks, and then I covered everything in a mud wash. Very simple, very straightforward. I really enjoyed painting them. It was a nice palette cleanser on this uh, very cold afternoon in Ottawa. And I don't know what to say. I'm happy that they're painted now. That's the first of the enemies down for uh, Titus to go up against in the Space Marine 2 game, which makes me very happy. Which means next week I'm going to take on the Termagant Warriors. There is 20 of them, I think. So that's going to be a real batch painting video for you. It's rare that I do them. But I hope you enjoyed. If you've made it this far, uh, that's got to be worth a like, comment, subscribe, all that cr cool to action crap that you have to do in a video at some point. So I'm doing that now. Otherwise, come back tomorrow. It's going to be a, a Tacticus Thursday video all about Commissar Yarrick and then what have I got happening we got some form of Judge Dread on Friday and then on Sunday there'll be another Aliens video so whether 40k is your bag or not there's going to be plenty of videos coming up so make sure you're checking in best way to stay up to date is to hit that notification bell or join Discord I have a little Discord channel that we uh, chat away on we talk about random stuff over there it's slowly fleshing out and growing in numbers, but you know how it is. You, you sign up to Zank and then you forget you have it. That's pretty much Discord for you. <laughs> it's mostly uh, it's me and my uh, loyal followers just chatting on there. Luna's got some great scathing going on at the moment. Sloane's got... He's doing everything at the moment. Some really cool Necromander, some Judge Dread. So yeah. If any of that sounds like you, make sure you find the link to the Discord and join us over there. Otherwise, I'm now going to take some glamour shots whilst this dries, and I will catch you in another video very soon. As always, cheers for watching.